Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. So in recent weeks, I sent letters asking questions from those at the center of the GameStop market chaos. And I've received responses from the SEC, FINRA, Robinhood, and Citadel, uh, the giant hedge fund. I ask that those responses or lack of responses, Mr. Chairman, be entered into the record without objection. Mr. Chairman? Trying, I'm trying to unmute. Okay. I didn't see that coming, Senator Warren, without objection. Okay. So ordered. All right. You know, neither side advertised it publicly, but Citadel Securities was Robin Hood's go-to partner for handling retail trades. At the height of the GameStop trading mania, Citadel alone was handling more volume than all of NASDAQ. And while Citadel was raking in cash from executing GameStop trades with one hand, its hedge fund affiliate was bailing out another fund on bad GameStop bets with the other hand. So I asked questions about Citadel and its relationship with Robinhood because this gets at the heart of what's wrong with Wall Street. It's riddled with conflicts of interest that allow the giants to win every single time. Here's some of the information that Citadel would not provide. How much money Citadel made from GameStop trades? What information on trades Citadel receives from Robinhood about GameStop and about millions of other trades? And then how Citadel uses that information it gets, whether it passes it along uh, to its affiliates to make even more money. Professor Fletcher, is this information important for understanding the role that Citadel played during the recent GameStop volatility? If, say, Citadel had executed the overwhelming majority of GameStop trades during the turmoil or had been receiving an information advantage from executing Robin Hood orders, could that potentially hurt retail investors? Uh, thank you, Senator Warren, for the question. Um, yes, so to just go right to your question, yes, this information about Robin Hood and other retail brokers' customers trading is definitely essential to our understanding of these re recent market events. One of the things that we know is that Citadel does receive a lot of information about customers' orders uh, from Robinhood, but it would also be important to know whether and how that information is being used by Citadel and others in order to have a clearer understanding of the recent volatility and any role that they may play in the, in the swings, in the price swings that the uh, stock price experienced. So thank you. You know, Robinhood gets more than half of its revenue from collecting fees for pushing its customers' orders to outfits like Citadel. And Citadel makes its money off the spread. They pocket the small difference between the buy and sell price of trade. And this is important, Robinhood also receives a percentage of the spread on each trade. So Professor Fletcher, both the number of transactions goes up and the spread tends to widen during periods of market turmoil. So am I understanding correctly that when share prices for GameStop or any other company undergo extreme swings, Citadel and Robinhood both stand to make more money while investors pay more to trade? Uh, yes, Senator Warren. Uh, this is generally what happens in times of stress. Uh, and so it's also important to keep in mind that market makers like Citadel are both in the exchange trading markets and executing huge volumes of orders off the exchanges. So while pension funds and other institutional investors generally can't interact with retail customers and retail customers are siphoned off and uh, prevented from interacting with institutional investors, Citadel sits in the middle and is able to interact with all of them. And this benefits Citadel uh, by being able to segment the markets uh, in this way, which dilutes the number and quality of orders that we see on the exchanges. Um, I, I, and the profitability is there for Citadel for doing so. Right. And this is why the SEC needs to investigate the GameStop run-up. The stock market is supposed to be about capital formation, creating long-term value for companies so they can grow and create jobs. This is good for the American economy and for American families. But when big sharks like Citadel and Robinhood come out ahead, no matter what happens, and when the information they gather isn't disclosed, and when it's secret how that information is used, it's easier for these giants to skim off the top at the expense of small investors and working families. The SEC's job is to provide transparency about these companies' market tactics and make sure they don't rip off customers. They could start by following up on my questions to Citadel and Robinhood. 